to dance. Not be me, do you? Scripture say, with joy shall you draw water. If you go well, somebody collect your rope, now your fault. I've said it. Church is not where you go and do boom face. It's where you go to collect blessing. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? So if you didn't dance, nobody me do you. Now you do yourself. Because waiting they pay you no day for my heart. Now your heart is day. Is it in my heart? Now you the, now you the thing they pay, no? It, it's not paying me. Praise God. But today you will recover every blessing. Anyone that has been tormented by the devil, today we mark the end of that torment. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Whatever has been making you feel depressed, today you will oppress the devil. In the name of Jesus Christ. For what God is said to do in our life one more time, I'd like us to lift up our voice and say, Father, I thank you. For what you are said to do in my life, I give you praise. I give you glory. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Asian of Days. Thank you, King of Kings. Glory be to your mighty name, O oh God, my helper, my healer, my deliverer, my way maker, my story changer. I thank you. I thank you for showing me mercy, for showing my family mercy, for showing this church mercy. I give you praise. I give you glory. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed in Jesus name we pray let the redeemer of the Lord say so congratulations please get seated and God bless you put your hands together for the Lord engaging the power of the Holy Ghost for conquest part 1b and our focus this evening the Holy Spirit is the spirit of prayer Winning in life is not possible without prayer. Accomplishing God's plan and purpose of God for my life and for your life will require the force of prayer. Jesus said, men ought always to pray and not to faint. Prayer is one of the major, say with me, major, major. life wire of destiny. What water is to fish, that is what prayer is to our destiny. Take away prayer from a believer. He is finished. The hand of God will stop working when prayer stops going. So what drives the will of God in continuous motion for my life, for your life, is continuous prayer. No wonder Apostle Paul said, pray without ceasing. When you cease to pray, things cease to work. Blessings stop flowing. Forces reinforce against you. And one of the major things the Holy Ghost 
he said to accomplish in my life is to deliver us from prayer infirmity. What do we call prayer infirmity? The spirit of slumber. Every time you want to pray, before you know what's happening, a force will knock you into sleep. You'll be pouring saliva. Your prayer life is not as what you want. Why? Because you are under severe manipulation. You are not the first. It happened to the disciples. Jesus said, can't you tarry with me for one hour? They were hit by the spirit of slumber. Others are choked by the force of prayerlessness. Prayer is that vital. That's why Satan sent us one of his major attack on your prayer life. Just to reduce your passion, your fervency, your potency in prayer. Like we said yesterday, our baptism in the Holy Ghost brings us to another realm, another frequency of praying. Because every man is informed. Every man has one challenge or the other. But look at what Romans chapter 8 and verse 26 says. Let's read that scripture studio. If you can, if you cannot, my Bible is here. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, not one. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be altered. He knows how to pray through us. He bypasses the flesh. He bypasses the limitations of the flesh. Anytime you want to pray in your understanding, these thoughts, this money have not come, this desire have not answered. Eh, what am I really praying for? But every time you switch to the Holy Ghost, he prays a right for you. He, in fact, he helps you to pray the will of God aright. When we know not what we ought to pray for. In fact, some of the things we are praying for is not even what God wants us to pray for. Because in God's heart, that is not the priority of what you need. So he helps us to pray the will of God. The scripture said this is the confidence that we have in him. Every time we pray according to his will, he heareth us. Every time we pray according to his will, he heareth us. So our challenges in prayer gets arrested every time you submit the Holy, to the Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit, pray through me. If you read uh, Paul Young Cho's book, you'll be hearing him say every time, Holy Spirit, pray through me. Pray through me. I don't know what to pray about this matter. It's weighing me down. Help me pray this matter. Help me confront this situation. So your prayer will not look as if it is prolonged or delayed or hindered. Why? When the Holy Ghost is involved in praying your prayer, I want to guarantee you, answer is on the way. You have been struggling to get answer. But every time the Holy Ghost helps you to pray, answer must come. He that prayeth in an unknown tongue, altereth mysteries with his spirit. So whatever is surrounding you that you cannot decode or encode, 
he helps you to pray it and uncode it. Your challenge is a mystery to you. Sincerely speaking, most of what we are confronted with, we don't even know where it's coming from. Am I saying the truth? But there is one that searched the mind of the spirits. Scripture told us that he searched all things. The spirit of God searched all things. Yea, the deep things of God. And Apostle Paul puts it this way. He said, whatsoever be it, the spirit himself shall reveal it. So he's a revealer. You pray to a point, he now begins to reveal to you, this is what you are to do. This is the step you are to take. So our prayer infirmity is taken care of every time he helps us to pray. The ultimate essence is to enable us to triumph in prayer because the place of prayer is the place of victory. The place of prayer is the place of triumph. Let us come boldly before the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help us. So if you are helpless, help answers for you in the place of prayer. If you are weak, your weakness is exchanged in the place of prayer. If you have been depressed, your depression is swallowed up in the place of prayer. So the Holy Ghost empowers us. Now I will use this word to make us understand it. He charges us. Who has seen a charge phone before? It starts by charging from 0 to 1% to 2% to 3%. It's just growing, growing, growing. So in the place of prayer, much more importantly, praying in the Holy Ghost, we are charged. Tell your neighbor, charged. So what the Holy Ghost is raising our spiritual voltage. If you are not charged, you can't discharge. How charged you are will determine the level of discharge you will give. And likewise in destiny, if you are not spiritually charged, you cannot take charge of your destiny. You cannot take charge of your breakthrough. You cannot take charge of the blessings that are coming your way. There are forces on assignment to divert blessings. But not when you are charged. When you are charged up, you become a spiritual magnet. You magnet blessings. You magnet favor. Your blessing can misroad. Another reason why he needs to get you charged is because there are territorial forces. Witches and wizards, occultic manipulation, enchantments are going on on a daily basis. Arrows are flying on a daily basis. But you can't be charged and these arrows are not diverted. The reason for that charging is to diffuse manipulation. There is no enchantment against Judah. Neither is there any divination against Israel. Shall I tell you this? There are human forces. They can even be in church as I'm talking. That are vowed to make sure you fail. Hear me? Bless you can confuse me. Some people can be telling you, bless you with their mouth. In their heart is, I curse you. And that's why when I look at them, nothing good is taking place in their life. Because whatever you wish another person is coming back for you a thousandfold. There are forces angry. Anytime one blessing wants to show in your life. That's why you need this charging. 
You need this charging. Take cancer together and be broken in pieces. Anytime you are praying in the Holy Ghost, you are altering what has been enchanted. You are commanding the arrows that have been fired to backfire. You need this charging. But can you see it? Anytime you want to pray in the spirit, that is when you look as if you, are, you have run 400 meters. They will be panting. <laughs> Three minutes. Oh. And they, they are sitting down. Oh. Three minutes. <laughs> Am I saying the truth? That goes to let you know that praying in the Holy Ghost exerts more energy on you. Am I saying something to somebody? You have made some plans and the plans you have made, you have not seen the reality. Why? There are forces that have vowed that these plans will not come to pass. That is why you need this charging. Like we said yesterday, every time we are praying in the Holy Ghost, we are taking authority over territorial powers. You are setting what we call your own magnetic field. Your own, you have set your own spiritual radar. No witch fly pass through your house and not die. Why? Every time you are praying, you are releasing spiritual charges over your territory. Over your territory. Build up your most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Do you know that you can be praying in understanding and Satan will be wiring you with doubt. Why that thing will not come to pass? That's why some people will be praying and they will be thinking of the problem that has taken place and why the thing must not come to pass. It's a manipulation of the devil. But when you enter the realm of the spirit, now the power behind the problem is even destroyed to guarantee you the delivery of the answer. That there is a power behind every challenge. The only place where they can be arrested is in the realm of the spirit. So the Holy Ghost charges us up. Another thing the Holy Ghost will do for us in the place of prayer is to fuel our prayer with more fire. More fire and more passion. You can't be baptized in the Holy Ghost with evidence of speaking in tongues and end up only praying in understanding. Paul said, I will pray in understanding. I will also pray in the Spirit. I will also pray in tongues. So the more you pray in the spirit, the more you are raising your spiritual fervency. I call it spiritual temperature. Prayer temperature. You know prayer has a temperature. There is a temperature of prayer you will reach, sleep will fade away. Am I saying the truth? <laughs> sleep will fade away. Why? Now, have you discovered that any time you want to pray well in the midnight, if you start in understanding, you will sleep back. Through of us. Sleep will knock you one hand. But when you start by praying in the spirit, before you know what's happening, your body will be getting the signal, get up, get up, get up! Move out from that bed! Am I saying something to somebody? So every time we are praying in the Holy Ghost, he fuels us with more passion. You become more passionate for the prayer. Oh Lord, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. My soul longer for thee. My flesh tested after thee. To see thy power. The essence of seeing his power is because a breakthrough is about to take place. An open door is about to be announced. So, praying in the spirit makes you tireless. 
makes you tireless. You don't get wearied praying in the spirit. You don't get tired praying in the spirit. Likewise, every time we pray in the Holy Ghost, we are connected to the frequency, to the realm of supernatural mysteries. I like the way Bishop Abiyah puts it. The enemy is attacking you with mysteries. The only way to subdue and triumph is to enter the realm of mysteries. So when you pray in the language of the spirit, you are entering the realm of mysteries. And if you are truly sensitive, as you are praying, you will be hearing something. If you are truly sensitive, as you are praying, it will be telling you something. Things you have not heard of before, it begins to reveal them to you. So when you enter that realm of mysteries, you have entered the realm of triumph. Where you begin to destabilize the base of your enemy. You know your enemy has a base. The spirit searches all things. Yea, the deep things of God. Wherever they stay to make the plan, the spirit goes there and scatters them. I remember an incident that took place some years back. Some group of people were in a house. Not that they were discussing me, they were planning me. While I was praying in the spirit, I just came on top of the roof. I was on top of the ceiling. I, I came down. To, so I was hearing this one. Evangelist Lizzie. Mrs. Joab. One other one. I've forgotten her name. <laughs> Evangelist Nkechi. Is there Nkechi here? I was hearing that I, I was not there. I was busy doing my thing in my own place. The Holy Ghost just moved me in a trance. I had all their discussion. All their discussion. So I just paused the prayer. I said, Lord, what do I do? I just had one on word. Scatter them. Scatter them in the order of the Tower of Babel. So I just began to mention them one by one. I said, I baptize you with confusion. And I began to speak in tongues upon their head. I baptize you with confusion. I baptize you with confusion. Fight yourself. Fight yourself. Fight yourself. They never saw themselves throughout that period. When you enter the realm of mysteries, you see what you have never seen before. Victory is cheap when the Holy Ghost is the one helping you to pray. We have struggled enough. No wonder. He said, you shall not need to fight in this battle. I, the Lord, shall fight for you. I, the Lord, shall fight for you. You need this, his mystery to untie your misery. There are some unbearable challenges some people are going through. It is only the Holy Ghost that can expose it. Holy Ghost, what is behind what I am going through? Open my eyes to see them. Reveal to me. You say we shall call upon you and you shall answer us and show us great and mighty things which we know not. You switch over to the realm of mystery. Lord, whatever is behind my challenge, why I have not been married, what is behind this affliction that we come and go, Holy Ghost expose them. You enter the realm of, as you are praying, it will be showing you. It will be showing you.
He shows you what to do for victory to be in place. He shows you the step to take for victory to be announced. He shows you what to do for the door to open. Show me. Show me. You shall call upon me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which thou knoweth not. You don't know it. That's why you must call him. If you know it, you can't call him. Do you call someone on what you already know? To make victory a reality, you need the assistance of the Holy Ghost in prayer. You need the assistance of the Holy Ghost in prayer. To make sure that your enemies are perpetually incapacitated. That all oh, he frustrated the token of liars and make it divine us to be what? Mad. He disappointed the plans of the crafty that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. But this will only take place at the frequency of praying in the Holy Ghost. Men have not yet arrived though. I'm still, I'm still firing this thing. I want to reach the realm of my spiritual fathers. I'm still, I'm still pushing. I'm still pushing. Because the more you go, the sweeter it becomes. The more you go, you see what your eyes have not seen before. And I learned from Dr. Paul Enenche that there is no way you can flow in the prophetic in ministry that you cannot cross two hours. If you don't cross two hours, you can't sustain the prophetic. So for your victory to be a reality, it's not the one you are up today, down tomorrow. You need the Holy Ghost every day. Every day. Every day. In fact, it must be a practice. You are walking on the road. Leko shika to preketezeze. Leandoro shika to zezuzea. Lee preketezeze. Do you know what? Many people only pray in the spirit when they are in a fire brigade challenge. When they need a fire brigade arrest. Where God must come like a fire brigade with five tankers. Am I saying something to somebody? No, you don't do that. You build up praying capacity. You build it up. You build it up to the point that when you need it, it answers for you. You have struggled enough. And watch out as you begin to do. This, the forces surrounding your challenges, they will begin to fall down one after the other. You are not saying amen. Amen. Whatever is behind the challenges you are going through, all you just need to do, Holy Ghost, I can't understand what is happening, but you can expose what is happening. I need your help in this prayer. I need your assistance in this prayer. Pray through me. Just switch over. Just switch over. It's not the one you say that I, I'm waiting for when the Spirit will fall upon me. Wait where, where? Wait where, where? <laughs> Smith Wiggles will say if the Holy Ghost does not move you, move him. Tell your neighbor, move him. So don't wait. When you begin to feel uh, that uh, your body don't shake. No, that's not a sign. Is it hard for you to speak in your language? Do you need to be in the spirit to speak in your language? You hear me? The language of the spirit is our real spiritual habitat. Something new doesn't need to come upon us before we begin to speak. Now, before you communicate to your wife in your language, Father Lord, let your spirit come upon me now. <laughs> there is nothing like that. Why? In your DNA, it's already wired, so it flows. Are you getting what I'm saying now? The spirit is already with you. Christ in you. Is Christ in you? I don't know whether your own is Tokumbo. Your own is Origi. If the Christ in you is the real Christ, then you don't need to wait for when something new will fall upon you. It's already in you. Scripture says, out of him shall flow rivers. The river is already there. 
out of him shall flow, not on him something will come. He has already come. You have already been baptized. So it will be flowing from you. From today, every storm the enemy has organized against you, they will all scatter. Rise up to your feet. We are going to test run what we have just... Are you hearing what I'm saying now? We are going to put it to work now. Now the scripture we are going to use, we can diversify it in the process of prayer. We have um, five minutes to do them. Okay, seven minutes so that we can take the remaining for communion. Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 9. Associate yourself, all ye people, and you shall be broken in pieces. And give ear, all ye of far countries. Guard yourself, and you shall be broken in pieces. Guard yourself, and you shall be broken in pieces. How many of us know that God is not a stammerer? Ah, 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 ah. Is God a stammerer? Take cancer together. It shall come to naught. Speak the word. It shall not stand. For God is with us. Now you are going to pray. Wherever cancer has been taken against me. Any force manipulating issue in my life. Holy Ghost by your fire. Scatter their camp. Let them be broken in pieces. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any force of wickedness, any witchcraft, any man or woman involved in making evil plans against my destiny, against my job. Holy Ghost, by your fire, scatter them. Lift up your voice. Begin to pray in the spirit right now. Nekoterosh, ikatosa, leante tetedesh, nekotepredilosh, zeso likataras, en labaro dono sutete. Le sotalia inkete le rosha padas in katolia bere sitota reto predise sonadas en sosonag le guta le cote pre in sotali je kuka prodis genado recote ruta ikata le siade los ne creteto ziso in catarado susene every network of wickedness conspiracy of Satan conspiracy of witchcraft gang up of evil men and evil women oh god by your fire let their camp be devoured zerane eketo labash entata nisoso nekre itata jukutata let them be broken in pieces in the name of jesus belush itonaresh and pepero dusanate jeklo ikata retone redonazo Lift up your voice. If you are baptized in the Holy Ghost, pray. Pray with me. Pray with me. If you are not baptized in the Holy Ghost, lift up your voice and begin to pray. Holy Ghost, fight my battle. Holy Ghost, fight my battle. Zihalo Shekuteros. Impayada Likatarish Zekute Landredine Shutata Empebelorosh Zikote Krata Errakote Siso Every manipulation of the wicked against my destiny Zekota Baba Gang up of witches and wizards against my progress against my marriage against my prosperity by your fire let their camp be devoured. Renado do suta. Eshepero do sataya. Lekote bredish. Erakato se soze. Every attack of the wicked. Upon my prayer life. By your fire. Let them be consumed. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Any power that wants me to go prayerless. I command fire to devour you. Redunus utayata. Empelo ruta. Shakutana. Zezilo Shekutales Emperate Shukutata in Rodeno Shukutatoria Zekute Pelodasha Rekotelu Shatalas Rekutelu Shatalas 
Enter Payanos. Jekutete. Lift up your voice. Pray, pray, pray. That problem is getting dissolved now. Pray, pray. Jekorobodobos. In Katata. Jekuta Belata. Relato Menglarish. Erakaka Delosoto. Any arrow fired against me. Fired against my job. Against my finance. Against my marriage. Against my progress. Against my prayer life. Backfire. Backfire. Lift up your voice. Pray. Le Kraitaya. Esodo. Ekalate. Shekuteniabo Shapa. Resietete. In Nodus and Tapalos. Zekuteposha. Netatelos. Zekotebrerish. En Zodolorus. En Zodolorus. Lekoteberish. Eropalianeta. Zizono. Zekuka. Leata. Beta. Isodo. Lekopa. Nekoredish. Zizonaba. Zekutetolish. En Praia de Luz. Zekoparianeta. En Lobodoshata. Every camp. Every camp of wicked men, camp of wicked women, set up for me, set up against me, set up against my family. Oh God, I command fire. I command fire. I command fire upon them. Fire of destruction. Fire of vengeance. Fire of destruction. Fire of vengeance. Their name is no importance. I decree their destruction one by one. Let them be broken in pieces. Netete, Netete, Jerusa, Jerusa, Etolate, Rekoterota, Beulatus, Enkayade, Embalados, Leketerish, Elobradi, Jegolabaradagagagagaga, Lekotebradis, Enatekus. Lift up your voice, pray. You are winning. You are winning. You are winning. Nekarado shikote. Ekaka retopa. Erade no kusetola. Shikloperia de sotata. Eragagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagag
In Jesus name we pray. You are going to pray this prayer. Just open. It says since thou hated blood. Even blood shall pursue thee. You are going to pray now. Father by the communion. By the blood of sprinkling. Blood of Jesus. Fight my enemies. Execute vengeance upon any evil man. Upon any evil woman. Upon any evil altar. That has vowed a vow against me. Blood of Jesus. Execute vengeance. Destroy their enchantments. Scatter their divination. Let their altar fail. Let their sorcery fail. Evil voices. That has been raised up against me. By the blood of Jesus. I command you to be silenced. By the blood of Jesus. Scatter. Powers. Making enchantments. Against my glory. My success. My progress. My establishment. My lifting. My blessing. All the speaking blood. Arise for me. Silence the enemy now. So shall it be. In Jesus. Mighty name. We have prayed. As you partake of this communion. The hand of the God of Oyedepo. Establish your breakthrough. That amen is not touching heaven. Establish your victory. Establish your open door. Establish your turn around. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Any evil hand that has been lifted up against you, let that evil hand dry up in the name of Jesus. Any altar fighting you with mysterious powers, I decree by the communion and by the blood of sprinkling, let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. It is done. In Jesus' name we pray.